Today, I am going to be pricing out the most expensive and the least expensive neck that you can buy on the Wormuth site, so stick around. <laughs> Hey everybody, it is Aaron from Warmoth, and today I'm going to go on our website and just like a regular customer, I am going to price out the least expensive functional neck that you can buy. And I'm also gonna price out the most expensive neck that you can buy. I'm gonna think of every combination of options that I can think of to jack that price up as high as possible. So we're gonna get a range, we're gonna get the least expensive to the most expensive. And then I'm also going to build a neck that I think hits the sweet spot with all the things that I would upgrade if I were buying my own neck. Now I do have a set of requirements that I am imposing for this exercise. Um, and basically they are that whatever I buy for the cheapest possible neck or the most expensive has to be a complete neck with all the things on it that you need to just go ahead and move forward with a build. Uh, in other words, it has to have frets, it has to have a nut, um, and it has to have a finish, maybe. We'll talk about that later. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here's the Warmoth website, and let's just do a Stratocaster replacement neck because Strat replacement necks have the biggest range of constructions. They offer pretty much every construction type. We end up in the showcase, but we'll just go straight on through to the custom builder. And let's start with the cheapest possible neck. Cheapest possible functional neck. Um, so we'll just vintage, vintage modern, and or I mean, sorry, modern, vintage modern, and vintage are all the same price. No charge for that. So we'll just go with modern maple with a rosewood fretboard. Uh, nut widths are never extra, so we'll just go with my favorite, right-handed. Uh, these first three profiles are no charge. Standard thin is by far the most popular, so we'll just go with that. Same with 10 to 16 inch compound radius. Number of frets, we'll go with 22. That's kind of what everybody likes. Of course, we don't want scallops, and we don't want binding. Uh, and we want frets, so we'll just go with 6150 nickel, no extra charge for that. None of the tuner reams are extra. Here we'll go with standard dots in cream, standard side dots. String nut, we'll just go with the cheapest, which would be white Corian. Uh, standard four bolt heel and a standard strat shape. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, we'll just go with standard strat. And then the finish, we'll go with the cheapest possible finish. So that puts us at 319. But I think there's a way to even go cheaper than that if you want to, uh, because you got a maple shaft wood here and that requires a finish. But if you go with roasted maple, the shaft wood is more expensive but it does not require a finish for warranty. So if we leave all the other options the same, we can come down here and just pick none, and that brings our price to 269. So I think 269 is the cheapest fully functional neck that you can get. Let me go through my options here really quick and make sure, yeah. I, I don't think there's anything else I could get cheaper. So now let's go with the most expensive possible neck that you can buy. And I think that is probably gonna start with tilt back baritone scale conversion because you're paying extra for tilt back because it's more labored to construct a tilt back. You're paying extra for baritone because you're using bigger blanks. When you're doing both, you're getting charged for both. So we'll go with a tilt back baritone. We're gonna go back to triple A or not, not back to, we're going to go to AAA Flame Maple, and then we could stick with Indian Rosewood Fretboard, but nah, we're gonna go with AAA. Uh, nut Width, they're all the same price. Stay with right-handed. Uh, here we're gonna go to 59 round back profile, that'll be an extra 35 bucks. And we're gonna pick nine and a half to 14 inch compound radius. 24 frets come standard on baritone necks, so we'll just go with that. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, we could do lined fretless for 85 bucks, but that's kind of cheating. That's so rare. So we'll just go with the wide and tall gold frets for 40 bucks. Uh, no charge for those. And then of course here we want to go with a premium inlay. So they're all 90 bucks. So we'll just go with blocks. Black blocks. Uh, for side dots we're going to go with, let's say, Mother of Pearl side dots. Eh, those will never show up on a maple neck. Got to go with abalone. Uh, string nut, we'll go for the tusk. That's a little bit more expensive. Now here we could go for no mounting holes, but that's kind of cheating. Nobody really wants that. Very rare. So we'll stick with that. Strat heel shape. And then finish, we're going to go for the most expensive finish. So this is going to be a spendy neck. 837 bucks. As I was building this, though, I had a thought. I might be able to get one even more expensive than this if I go back to modern construction. And the reason why is because scallops and um, binding are not available on baritone necks. So if I go back to a standard neck, I may be able to do those and get the price even higher than $837. let us let us find out. We're stick, we'll stick with AAA flame, right hand, number of frets. Oh, uh, because we're doing a standard neck now, 24 fret extension is an upcharge, but we don't want to pick this because binding is not available on 24 fret extensions, and that's because the binding is actually thicker than the fretboard on a 20 on the on the extension part. So that's why we don't offer that. So we've got to stay with 22 frets there. And then let's see, full scallops is 110, but let's pick no and see how much binding is. Oh, this is more. So we'll go with black binding. Oh yes, that's what we want to do anyway, because if you pick scallops, let's see, I'm pretty sure if you pick scallops, that gets rid of the binding. And then I think you can't do fancy inlays. Oh, they're not showing up yet, but I'm pretty sure that if you do scallops, you can't do any of the expensive inlays. So let's go no on the scallops. Yes on the binding. And then here we're going to get the most expensive frets, the, the uh, gold. Inlay shapes, yes. Okay, so we'll go with blocks again. Black blocks. White side dots, because now we have binding. Oh, wait a sec. What am I doing? Uh, we'll go with mother of pearl. Oh, moon glow. Oh, they're the same price. Uh, moon glow, just for the fun of it. Uh, we'll go with the most expensive kind of nut here, which would be Irvana Tusk. So we'll go with that. And, and again, this is kind of cheating. Almost nobody orders this. So we'll just go with the cheaper option there. And same here. We could do a mismatched heel shape, but almost nobody orders that. So we'll, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to cheat too bad. And we'll go for the most expensive finish. So what do we got here? Ooh. 961. This might be the most expensive neck you can possibly order. 961. Okay, so we have the bottom of the range and the top of the range. So now, let uh, I'm going to go through one more time. You know what? I'm just going to refresh the page. And I am going to build a neck that I think hits the sweet spot for price. And um, and cool options. And I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to say vintage modern and maple shaft wood and rosewood fretboard. Just because rosewood is my preference, you can get a lot of these other fretboards here. Um, you know, it, it, it becomes a matter of whether any of these upcharges are worth it to you. But I'm trying to hit the sweet spot here. So how about this? We'll, we'll call it a middle of the road. We'll go for Indian Rosewood Dark. It is a little bit more of an upcharge, but not that much. And you're going to get a nicer piece of rosewood. So we'll, we'll do a little splurging there. Nut width, we'll just go with my favorite again. Right hand. And again, I got to go with standard thin. It's, it's by far our most popular. Um, 10 to 16 inch. Now here's one where if, if I were doing it myself, I would go for straight 12. Straight 12 is always my favorite. 
It really is, again, a question of whether it's worth it to you for, any, for a $35 upcharge to get an exact radius. And, yeah, why not? We'll splurge a little there, too. We can always dial it back if we decide to. 22 frets, pretty standard. Now, here is an upcharge I would definitely do every single time. I would get stainless steel frets. And my favorite is uh, 6150 stainless steel. This $35 upcharge, I don't even consider it a splurge. I consider that this money saved uh, in the fact that you'll never have to replace these frets or have them crowned or uh, leveled and they're easier to play on. That's just, to me, this is an absolute no-brainer. I would get rid of the dark rosewood. I would get rid of the straight 12 in a heartbeat in favor of keeping this. All right, no upcharge for any of those. Inlay shapes, we'll go with standard dots. Cream, white side dots. This is another place where I think the extra, what is it, five bucks for a graph tech nut? Well, well worth it. I would opt for this in favor, in favor of those earlier splurges that we did. So we'll go with a white nut, standard four bolt, standard strat shape, and then finish, you know, I, I like clear satin nitro. So I think this is a good neck that has a little bit of splurging, some better features like the stainless steel frets, it's got a custom radius. So, I mean, this is a neck that's really a, a solid neck with some things that really make it unique. And you're at 419. So I would say 419 is the sweet spot between what was it? I, I, forget, I forget the other two prices now. I know the high one was in the low nines. Um, so, you know, you're well south of that. You're, you're at under 50% of that. Um, so yeah, this was an interesting experiment, 419 for the sweet spot. And there you have it, the complete price range of Warmoth necks from the least expensive to the most expensive and one neck right in what I consider the sweet spot. Uh, if you have any more questions about all the neck options that Warmoth offers, make sure and check out our website or give our customer service reps a call. And until next time, keep on picking.